we are the sixth generation farming this land. We have very deep ties to a lot of people in our communities. The idea that the climate is changing and is unstable and there are really serious consequences has been evident for most of my life. I don't really remember a time where that wasn't the way that I thought about the world and the future. We are in the Midwest. We are much more protected than other communities, but we've already seen flooding that's happened and droughts that have happened on our land and just increasingly unpredictable weather that has made farming much more difficult. We decided to come back to the farm in the summer of 2020 to a place where we could be actively fighting climate change while building resilient communities. Zumwalt Acres is really working to create a future that we want to see as young people, a future that is communal and resilient and one that is actively combating the climate crisis. We're empowering and teaching young people we are experimenting with a novel carbon sequestration technique that also improves soil health, and we are growing food regeneratively. I think at first there was some confusion and surprise about what we were doing here because it is very different than what most of farming looks like in this area. So we're trialing a new carbon capture technique that can be applied in farmland. And what that looks like is taking a waste product from mining sites, applying it on farmland as a natural fertilizer, and then it increases crop yields, it increases soil health, and it actively captures carbon from the atmosphere. And so here we have an agroforestry system where we are growing fruit trees and shrubs and we're also growing trees along the edges of our fields in what are called shelter belts which protect the soil from wind erosion. One of the most powerful things that we can do is to really demonstrate what it could look like to have a system of agriculture that is healthier for communities, for ecosystems, and that is climate resilient. We are showing people that we are their allies. We are all in this together because it's all one future that we're sharing. We have seen people coming together across political lines, across generations, across cultural backgrounds. It can definitely be challenging at times, but for the most part it's been really, really beautiful to see how easily we really can transcend those barriers. Young people are really struggling with climate grief right now and it's undeniable that the future we're inheriting is uncertain. And we sought to create a community where young people could come and grow hope together. The generation above us isn't doing enough to build that future for us. We have to build it ourselves. Community is really what sustains this work. It's not easy work, and the only way to do it is alongside community. It's the people who support you, it's the people who celebrate you, it's the people who provide resources in every sense of the word when things are challenging. We know that none of us have the answers to the immense crises that we're facing individually. But together, we can bring in the fresh ideas and different perspectives that will allow us to start creating the future that we want. We can be terrified that there won't be a future, or we can be hopeful that we have it in us and that we have it in the communities that we're building to thrive and to continue on.